Temperature inside the tent right now. Coming up for quarter past one on Saturday afternoon. Wow. Okay, folks. Saturday afternoon. Early afternoon. Uh, the tent's like an oven, literally. I'm worried about the uh, of my yeast suspension and the ginger wine. Um, I don't know, what temperature does yeast get killed by heat? It's 40 some degrees in there, like 45 degrees or something. I took a photo a, a short while ago. Um, I'm worried. I would have thought that, um, I don't know, what temperature does pasteurization occur? If you have something at a high enough temperature for long enough, you don't have to be up around boiling or anything. Somewhere around, somewhere around 50s or 60s, I don't know. Um, I maybe have to look it up. That's a bit worrying. Um, beyond that, let's have a see if we can find herself. Her ladyship is in her spot down here somewhere. Hey Tina, say hello. Yeah, there she is. If I point the camera in the right direction. Right guys, um, today or this afternoon, I was going to go to the park uh, somewhere with a bit of shade. But uh, a couple of things have happened to, uh, to change my mind. i got things to do around here, I think. Um, I'm aware... Uh, let's have a look around, look. I'm aware that this place is a bit of a shithole. I can, I can enumerate the ways in which it's a shithole and the reasons why those things have happened. Um, most of it happened from kind of a utilitarian perspective. Um, in winter I needed wood uh, and beyond for boiling water. I had a, a cooking area here. This is before any kind of tent or shelter. I was just under a tarp on a single bed at the far side of this space. So I was well away from, I was well away from this area that was a little bit further back here probably at the time. Um, they were various bits of wood. I've just collected these together today and piled these up in an attempt to start to organize and uh, tidy up a bit. Um, some of these things here are out now because I'm using them now. Some of them, yeah, like the green and purple thing here. That, I mean, that's a, that's the lining of a tent that my idea was when I was under the other shelter, when I was under the broken tarp, I was going to put that over my head upside down and, and that would be a, that was an emergency kind of fallback. Well, now I've got this tent. Do I throw this out? Or do I hold on to it as an emergency fallback again? At what point do you discard things? Or what, how long do you hold on to them just in case? Um, these two blue plastic bags. These are actually uh, sofa cushions. It was one big sofa cushion, but some rodents decided they liked the outer material and they were taking it for their nesting kind of area and uh, that meant it broke apart and, and stuffing was coming out so I thought put it in big big blue plastic bags and preserve its kind of cushions it looks ugly as sin but it's not spitting out little little cubes of foam everywhere and it's usable for me to sit on do I keep them or do I throw them? I got a mattress that, that was a mat I, I only got that at Christmas. I only used it for maybe a month inside, um, well, at first outside. But inside the first structure I built and the first bed I built, um, it's, used, it's nice to lay on in the sun on these hot days. Do I throw it? Do I keep it? These things here, 
I use as covers over this mattress when it rains. I put the big wood, uh, I put the I put the rubber mats, the sheets down first, then these bits of wood over the top. Anything that gets through, so most rain runs off because of the wood. Anything that gets through is prevented from getting to the mattress or, or limited from getting to the mattress by the rubber sheets. Keep them, throw them. So this is out because I'm going to do something shortly. Likewise, that. this is kind of a storage area around my cooking area. That's utilitarian. Like, uh, my drinks area. That's total utility. Um, yeah, and on I can go. I can go. You know, it, it's now. Um, how do I put this? It's been brought to my attention that some of my neighbours might not be totally happy or looking out over this. I understand that entirely. Um, I call it a shithole myself. I mean, some of these things, like you saw the other day, this chest of drawers that's been dumped on me. Nice idea, but if there's no bottom in the drawers, then it's just taking up fucking space and looking ugly. The mirror looks great. Um, it's probably totally out of place in a tramp's camp. Um, so I've got this mix of utilitarian and total shit. Uh, stuff that's been used now and stuff that's been stored in case it'll be useful in the future. Stuff that's been used already in the past. It's maybe at the end of its life. When do you let go? When do you? How long do you keep it in case you need to fall back on it? Or when do you just let it go and throw it away, tidy up? So this is my, this is my quandary at the minute. This is this is my quandary. Um, I'm aware that I'm probably not an ideal neighbour at the minute, and I want to be. I don't want to be a bad neighbour to anybody. I don't want to be the bad guy. Some people will just hate the fact that I'm here at all, and I can I can't do anything. I can't do anything to help them. I can't do anything about that. If you just don't want me here, then we've got a clash, haven't we? If you don't want a mess spoiling your view, um, then maybe I can do something to help. Maybe I can tidy up. Maybe I can make more of an effort. So I think that instead of going to the park this afternoon, I'm going to get the solar oven out. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do jacket potatoes. <laughs> As a follow on to the fiasco earlier this week. But I, I, I want to be here, I don't want to just put something on to cook here and then leave it. I got no idea what might happen here. I mean, that might burst into flames or, or uh, so I want to be here while that's in use. Um, but my main reason for staying is, is to make some changes, to not be the bad neighbour that I might have become. And to anybody, if, if you are, if you are a, a neighbour of mine and you're not happy with, with the way I'm doing things, come and tell me. I'm approachable, no need to get um, the authorities involved, shall we say. If you're not happy, come and talk. Tell me what I can do different. Be reasonable, don't just tell me to clear off, because that's, well, I'm hoping that's not going to happen. But if I can reduce my footprint out here, if I can just be less ugly with it, if I can be more organised and neater, tidier, I'll try and meet you halfway with that. 
bearing in mind my requirement of keeping things on hand in case they're useful. I have to, it's a survival thing. You know, I, I pick some things up thinking, hey, that might be useful one day. All right, look in the corner over there. I don't know if you can see, there's a metal tin about, I don't know, about a metre tall that I picked up maybe a bit less, two feet tall, 60, 70 centimetres tall. Um, I picked that up one day because it might be useful. I don't know how or why or what. I think I picked it up at the back end of last summer and I, I maybe thought I could punch holes in it, put a metal drill in the bottom and, and it could be a fire type thing. I, I, like when you see people on strike and they've got a, or trap, you know, they've got the fire, the, the big barrel of fire. So some things I've got because one day it might be useful. And I'll reassess them and try and think and, and like the blue tap there, it's at end of life. There's no point me keeping that now. So that can go. There's an orange curtain over there that when I picked it up, I thought it was a shower curtain. I thought it was a big waterproof piece of plastic, you know, a big waterproof sheet of fabric. So I brought it back and it turned out it wasn't waterproof and it's just laid here ever since. Well, that can go. So so I can, I can be a bit more ruthless looking around and, and tidying up reorganizing things I keep make them maybe less visible pile things up behind a bush instead of out in the open maybe um, I can meet if you're if you're one of my neighbors and you're not happy tell me I'll try and meet you halfway uh, I'm gonna get rid of this chest of drawers tonight I, I'll, it'll kill me to carry up the road but I'm gonna get rid of it because it's, it's no use to me and it's just gonna, it just pollutes the area, it's just... <sighs> Let me know about the mirror guys, what do you think? What do you think about the mirror? Look at me, I'm not exactly photogenic, I'm not, <laughs> I don't spend a lot of time looking in mirrors. What do you do with a beautiful piece of furniture like that? I don't know. I go back to when I said no to the lady originally that was dropping it off. Before I realised the chest of drawers didn't have handles and didn't have bottoms in the drawers. It looked like too much. It is too much. What the... F I don't know. Oh. You know. I'll tidy up, I'll reorganise, I'll try and be a better neighbour. That's all I can do, guys and neighbours, that's all I can do. Um, if you still don't want me here, nah, then we got a problem. Then we got a problem. But I'm willing to meet you halfway. Okay, guys. I got some cooking to do and I've got some tidying and reorganizing to do. Um, Delta Mike out. Egregious Tina shot to begin with. That's a tradition. Not not in every video, but in most. Okay guys. Um I talked earlier about how I was going to tidy the camp up. Um, if we look around now, you might not notice too much difference. That's going to go tonight. The uh, the chest of drawers. I'm going to under cover under cover of dark. Excuse the burps, hiccups even. Um, under cover of darkness, I'm going to ca carry that out. Um, we got some solar cooking that huh, really didn't work. We got the tent, which is an immovable, really, well, realistically. Um, over, over here, 
I carried five loads of um, what would you call it? Rubbish, detritus, um, old waste. I carried five loads up to the bins up and out of the camp. Obviously there's a long way to go. But if I carry another three or four lots tomorrow and some more the day after and some more the day after, you know, we'll... Uh, it's not going to happen overnight. There are decisions to be made about... So for example, this chair. There's a second one there. When I got them, I didn't have any need for two sturdy farmhouse kind of chairs. Uh, what am I going to do with two sturdy farmhouse dining chairs? But I used them as the base for a bed. Laying beams across and planks across the beams and... You know, that worked for months. Now... I don't know, I maybe need one extra chair, do I need a second, do I get rid of it, do I hold on to it in case, in case something changes, do I get rid of it now and then regret the decision later, logs, hey, they're utilitarian, maybe I need them, maybe I don't, bricks and stones, Maybe yes, maybe no. Are you going to decide that now? What if you decide decide to throw them away now and then next week or the week after I need ballast to hold the tent down? What then? Um, these flooring tiles are waterproof. I've had use for those in the past. Do I have use now? Not right now. Maybe I could use them inside the inside the tent. Maybe not. For now, they keep the water out of a drawer that has paper that I used to light real world fires when I need real world fires. These things, silver. What are they? They're like windscreen reflectors. When the sun shines in your car and you want to keep it cool in the car. I thought maybe they would be good thermal insulators. I don't think they ever really were. But I got two or three of them and... Uh, well, I don't know. Do you just throw them? Or do you hold on in case? There may be a good... There may be a good, um, they're a good bet for what goes, what, what goes next. Uh, broom handles, mop handles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they built my last structure, they built my last, um, Tina, shush. Where was I? Mop handles. The, ta the tarpaulin was basically suspended over six broom handles with ropes strung between them and two arches. Um, these bits of wood. Two pieces of wood bent over into an arch with, uh, with a stake into the ground on either side, creates an arch and then you can suspend the tarpaulin over it and creates basically the idea was an arch like that. It was never that big, it was never that grand, it was never that high. It was working with mop handles. The mop handles are about a metre, a metre and a third, I, I don't know. Um, you work with what you got. I needed something that worked within the auspices, within the boundaries of uh, of what I had. God, sorry for the burps, folks, for the hiccups. I've uh, 
I blame Damien. Alcohol. That's another story. Check out the other videos for that story. Um, check out the other videos for this story of the uh, of the beard. I've got no idea. See, I've now turned the camera entirely around. The phone entirely around. You're looking at me. I can't even see the screen. The screen's on, on the other side of the device. This uh, this hasn't changed today. Except I, t I took four water bottles away from here and filled them with water and went and back and forth and brought water to the camp. Uh, these these are the these are the mop handles. This is water uh, water. This is wood that may or may not be useful for me and my fires. I can't comment too much because Assuming you're friendlies, you're not the only ones listening. There are people with eyes on and ears on who are, um, you know, they're against me. Not everybody who can oversee, not everybody here is with me. Some of them there are against me. For now. I hope to convince them to be friendly later. And they'll succumb to my charm and wit and personality. Oh, not if I'm burping and hiccuping. My charm, wit, and personality will um, will prevail. Oh, maybe, possibly. Um, more stuff? Question mark? Throw or keep? Throw or keep. This, this is entertaining. This is a bag of Starbucks coffee beans. I once looked in a bin, not very far from here. There were 40 of these in the bin. And I didn't know what I was looking at. So I picked up t two and carried them home. One I think I've thrown or lost or just maybe it's around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But um Yeah. That's a one kilogram bag of coffee beans, dark roast. I don't even know what to do with them. Obviously I don't have a mechanical grinder. Question. Can I just put the beans in water and boil them? I think I've seen like cowboy films where they just did something like that. Maybe I can put the beans in a in a pan and kind of pummel them with the end of a rolling pin. I've got rolling pins. Like I'm some sort of gay boy pastry chef. Are you allowed to say gay boy anymore? I suspect not. I just did. If you're a gay boy and you're offended, fuck off and get over yourself. I mean you no harm. The fact that you're a gay boy is between you and your boyfriend. Um, but I, uh, I don't know. Can I, can I just crush those coffee beans and do things kind of a manual way without any kind of electric milk i don't know and if these things have been lying out in a field for six months or nine months or however long it's been does that change the equation what if spiders have got in there or wood lice or something else would would such things would they go in there would the caffeine not put off spiders and wood lice and Whatever. You tell me in the comments. I don't know. My, I don't know my ass from my elbow. I have no idea. But but suffice to say, I've got things here. Some of which I understand. Some of which I don't. Bits of. It's metal. Is that aluminium? Is that any value? 
Do I just throw that in the bin or is that actually, can I trade that in and get five euros, three euros, two euros, I don't know. Is that, what is it, has it got any volume? Probably not, I would just throw that in the bin. Let one of my counterparts who knows what he's looking at take a look. I don't know guys. Listen, what I want to say today is um, the process has begun. I didn't run around this afternoon and clear up every problem. In fact, friends arrived, they brought beer and they brought ice. Um, you do the math, as the Americans would say. We would say, do you do the maths in, in England? But we would do it without the burps. Um, this stuff, not cooked. Not cooked at all. Not today. I don't know whether it means I need more insulation or just to wait for more sun I don't know but look today I made a start to my enemies not enemies to the people who are currently not my friends up there hello it's me I mean you know harm I'm sorry for whatever harm or injury I've caused you and I understand that I have caused you an injury I accept that you're going to look out from your balcony and you're going to see a tramp and his camp and this tramp and his camp it looks like shit I get that can you imagine what you would do in, your, in, in this situation Look back at my at my videos from three weeks ago. Is it three weeks or two weeks? Where I was living under a tarpaulin and the roof went through. And I patched it and then it rained and thundered and lightning and and the rain was just running down poles at the side. And I had to bring the, the, the mattress outside to dry. Was it twice or three times in a week I was bringing the mattress out to, to dry off because it was basically a big fucking wet sponge. Pardon my French, but it was a big fucking wet sponge. So you guys up there, I mean you no harm. I have no ill will towards you and if you come down here now and I've got beer, I will give you one of my beers, one of my last beers. If I come up there to you, would you give me one of your beers? Would you help a guy out? What's your aim? What's your, I understand it's maybe not pleasant. It's not ideal. You, you, you had an apartment with a view over wilderness, a view over a field. And now it's a view over a field with a tramp and his dog and a tent and his detritus, such as it is. I wouldn't, you know, I'd view it as suboptimal. It's less than ideal, isn't it? Fuck. How much less than ideal is your life? You've gone from 100% ideal down to 99.9% .9 ideal. Do you know where my life is? Compare my life compared to my 100% fucking ideal. I'm living in a fucking field in front of your house. The field floods. I gather some wood for fires in winter. Somebody drops off a set of drawers so I could store clothes. Except there's no fucking bases, there's no bottoms in the drawers. I'm having a go, an experiment, a solar oven that looks like it's going to take two or three days to cook a meal. 
Look at me. Look at my life. How much less than my fucking ideal do you think this is? Because I'm not pretending. Get over yourself. I'm not pretending. This is not for show. I'm not on a grift. I'm not looking for donations. I haven't asked anybody for a fucking penny. Now, I'm very, very happy that some people have stopped by and have donated. I'm very, very happy that someone bought me this tent. I'm very happy that they stopped by and brought me some beer and some ice. I'm very happy they brought me some food. I didn't ask directly for it. I'm very, very happy they did. But look how much less than ideal my life is and how much less than ideal your life is. You're on 99.9%. I'm on fucking maybe 9.9%. Who's calling out for help? One of us is calling the Guardia Seville to move somebody else along. Maybe, possibly, perhaps. I think so. One of us is just trying to get on with shit. And if you want to come and you want to say hello, you want to shake hands, you want to bring some beer or drink some of my beer if, if, if I've got some, it's great. I welcome you with open arms. Just don't be a dick, all right? That's all I ask. Life sometimes is not easy. Me and my girl here, look, look at her. Look, I have to make sure that I provide for her. I'm a tramp living in a fucking field. How easy do you think that is? Somebody brings me some food once, w one month, and then I might go four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, three months before somebody else offers. I have to provide for her. That's my one priority. If there's anything left over, I'll provide for me. If there's anything left over from that, I might put some credit on the phone. I might buy a litre of wine and a bottle of cola. Maybe, possibly, perhaps. Ninety nine point nine per cent ideal. Nine per cent ideal. Think it over. Let me know. Delta Mike out.